Hey all it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything you're going to be looking at today came from Old Glory Antique Marketplace in Frederick, Maryland. If you're in the area, I highly recommend you check them out. Lots of great things, a wide variety of different items and such. So most of the things that you see are items that I purchased three different times that I was there. I helped Amy, who I've been shopping with a lot, and helping source for her booth. Um, most of this is, comes from the time that I went there and helped her. And there are a few things that I actually bought from her booth, unbeknownst to her. <laughs> While she was pricing things, I stealthily took some of the things off of the shelf that she had uh, put there. And said, oh, I just need to go walk around for a minute and stretch my legs out. So I brought them up to the register and said, hey, can you just bring me up for these real quick? I just don't want her to see it. So she, Because, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. And so I thought, okay, this is the perfect opportunity for me to do so. Anyway, these first two items I'm going to be sharing with you, um, she actually bought for me and gave them to me as a gift, so thank you. I know it's like well over a month that I've <laughs> since I've been able to film this. I mean, I'm really far behind, and I'm not honestly planning on doing a whole lot of shopping because my car is still full of things, so I have to get through all that stuff, you know, put it away and such, because it's just, it's a madhouse. Anyway, so these two things were gifts from her. This is just a one of the battery-operated Drummer Boy I think he would look cool for Christmas. Uh, you could put a Santa hat on him or, and such. I don't know if he works, but he's still really cool. And she also found me this really cool tin litho butterfly. It is uh, broken right here, but I don't really care. I'll just put that out for springtime. The colors on camera don't really do it justice. They're really nice in person, but I love, love those. So I was excited to have those for my vintage toy collection. So these are the four items that I stealthily snuck away and purchased while Amy was shopping. This, I thought, was hilarious. It's called Pardon My Blooper, and this is a total What Would Vinny Say moment. An album of radio and TV's most hilarious, and that word. Yeah, that that was, ah, uh, and just the graphics of the camera and the microphone going, oh my god! In today's world, I just picture somebody saying this word live on TV and the, ca the camera crew just covering their ears like, no, I did not need to hear that. So this was basically, like I said, a what would Vinny say moment. By the way, there is a what would Vinny say t-shirt in my merch shop if you would like to purchase one of those. This is another item I bought from her. It's a Whitman Christmas Carols book. And the inside graphics are great. I like this one especially. It's very snowy. I like the um, window on the church. Just very nice graphics. And then these two other things. I got a wind-up mouse here. At first I wasn't sure what the heck it was. I thought it was a rabbit. It's a Made in Japan piece, I believe. Uh, he, ooh, I'm not even showing that to you all. I'm sorry. Made in Japan piece. Um, he's going to go in my junk jar, probably, along with all my other miniatures. Because you know that small stuff just gets lost easily. This piece I did buy, but I think I'm going to end up selling. It's Blueberry Chalkware. I've never seen this one before with the faces, the anthropomorphic faces. And it's in really good shape. I mean, it's got little bits of damage here and there. But on the main part of it, it's very, very clean and pretty and not a lot of damage. So those are the things that I got from Amy's booth when we priced a bunch of stuff. So I bought these two jack-o'-lanterns here. One was twelve fifty, the other one was five fifty. As you can probably tell, this one was twelve fifty because it's bigger. This one's five fifty. I don't really know exactly what these ones were for per se because there's only a small little hole in the top of the heads. So I don't know if maybe a light was to go here, like a clip light, and they were to light up or what. But they were just fun, and I will either wait until next year to sell these, or I will. 
hold on to him for a little bit and maybe try selling him. Not sure yet. I'm leaning more towards throwing him in with my Halloween stuff. So these are the other items that I managed to pick up. I've got some more, but these are smaller and they're just easier to fit all on the table. And they're items I'm keeping. So for $7.50, I picked up this really cute swinging bunny tin toy. And he's got winking eyes. So I saw that and I was like, you know what? That would look really cool for spring and, you know, Easter displays. So I was like, all right, I have to have that. And up here, I've got these really interesting, I think they're, they're not paper mache. They're like a really thin paper though. And bendable. Let me see if I can find the card for one because, you know, with old paper, things don't stay put anymore. Like they don't stay glued onto their original pieces and whatnot. They're both made by this company here. Van Dunn? Van Dwin? Let me see if I can focus on that better. Van Dwin? I don't know. The nurse is a bit rough, as you can see. Like, part of the paper has come off completely. I think it's a spun head. That's the word I was thinking of. It's a spun head piece. So I have a nurse, and I have a soldier. The soldier was three fifty, dollars and the nurse, because she's in a little bit rougher shape, was $1.50. But I couldn't separate them. So I bought them together. I assume that they were probably from World War II, just judging by maybe the style of them. Maybe they're from the 50s, too. But when I see a soldier and a nurse, I think of that picture at the end of World War II that you see of the sailor kissing the nurse. That's just what I think of. And for $9.50, I got this mermaid. And you guys know I'm kind of slowly but surely starting to buy a bunch of mermaid stuff. Why? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that was $9.50. That's marked Japan. I did look up that piece, like I just did a just a vintage mermaid search on eBay. Someone has one listed for 25 and someone has one listed for 42. They have not sold, but those are what's up there now, so I got a pretty good deal on that. And look at the baby planter. I saw that immediately on the shelf when I said I have to have it. It was only 550, couldn't resist it, had to have it. And that's worth about 20 bucks if you ever find one. I'm keeping them because you guys know I have my collection of Cupid dolls. That again, I didn't really need to, to start collecting, but I did. And this was actually the first thing that I grabbed. This is a, one of those enamel flower brooches. As you all know, I've got this strange, strange, strange obsession for these pieces. I, I don't know what it is. I just like them. They're fun. It was only three fifty, and I've got one in green. So again, these are these just go in my junk jars. I just think they're fun. They're very nineteen sixties, nineteen seventies. I think they're more of the seventies, because that's usually that was more flower power, wasn't it, in the seventies, or was that more of a sixties thing? You guys will have to tell me because that's thirty, twenty, thirty years before I was even born. But those were some really fun pieces. So I found these two cute little guys here. They came from a booth that was 50% off, so I felt that they were well worth picking up. I've never seen this planter before of a pig pushing a wheelbarrow. A little bit bigger and a little bit heavier. My best guess is he's either American Bisque, Shawnee, or Royal Copley. Now I do know that this pig here, I believe he is Shawnee, if I'm not mistaken. Shawnee Pottery. It's for my Cadillac. I'm definitely going to be selling that. And I know that there is some car enthusiast out there who loves Cadillacs or just likes car memorabilia. I think they would absolutely love to have that bank. So those will be up for grabs at a sale. Or if you just can't wait, you can always email me down below and I can shoot you a price and we can work something out. Now, I'm sure you probably all are thinking, why did you buy a really faded old hat for only $4.50? Well, as you can see on here, it says official Charlie McCarthy costume. And it was a product of the Edgar Bergen Incorporated. I've never, ever seen a hat like this before. So I will definitely have this up for display at some point. Maybe I can get like one of those foam heads and just put that on there. Again, it's something I've never seen before. 
and I felt for the 450, uh, I had to take it home with me. So all of the stuff that you're going to be looking at now are things that I bought probably about a couple weeks later. I met up with a friend in Frederick whom I had not seen since probably 2018. I used to work with her at Home Goods. It was just so good to see her. And she hadn't been to Old Glory in ages. So I said, what the hey, there's probably something in there that I, you know, thought about, didn't get, and will want to purchase this time. So we went ahead, we did some thrifting, and then we went to Old Glory again. And I got this first item we're going to be looking at for this portion of the haul uh, in a booth that was half off. Unfortunately, a few minutes before I was filming, I broke two or three of the prongs off of the comb. So I might try to sell the mirror and the vanity tray and just offer the comb for free. Because I don't think you can fix them. I mean, you might be able to, but old Bakelite, I'm telling you, it's, I mean, it's, it's good quality, but I guess I was a little too rough with these. I don't know. So I, sometimes I wonder what I do to some things. But the vanity tray and the mirror are still worth it. They're very fallish. Like the colors, the color of the Bakelite, like that orangey color. So it was still worth it. I mean, I'm kind of bummed that the comb broke, but I can always just offer that for free when I sell the vanity tray. Now, the tray itself, of course, it's mirrored, but it's got a really cool silhouette in it. And, yeah, it's definitely unique. Nothing I've ever seen before. And the hand mirror is also Bakelite, but as you can see, the black is worn off of it because it's, it's probably from the 30s or the 40s, so it's not exactly new but i'm wondering will anybody still want the set despite the fact that the comb is broken <laughs> i mean maybe somebody will just because it says i was well loved well well loved and perfect until i got a hold of it but you get what i mean i bought this vanity set from one of my favorite booths in this mall i have a couple others I think I had some makeup containers or like powder dishes that were that had this pattern on it. Very Art Deco, very like 1930s. And again, it would be great for fall or for Halloween or if you're really into shabby chic and such. Of course, it's warm, but it just makes for great display on a vanity. So again, if you do see anything that you're interested in that I say is for sale, you can always message me via Instagram or you can message me through my email. It is down below in the description box. So this is the last of the stuff that I picked up at Old Glory. And then I have one item from eBay that I'd like to share with you all. So I found this um, Hungry Pup game. I believe it's from the 30s or the 40s maybe. And I paid, what did I pay for that? Like six fifty or something? Let me look on my little sheet here. No, he was... So this is the last of the smaller goods. And then I have one item from eBay that I'd like to share with you all. So everything that you're going to be seeing in this haul, with the exception of the Lucite Alligator and the Razor, I will be keeping for myself. The razor will probably go on eBay as well as the Lucite Alligator. So this Hungry Pup game was $6.50. I think it's from the 30s or 40s. I just absolutely love the graphics on it. The nautical playing cards were $4. I loved the graphics on those, so I had to have those. For $4.50, I picked up this tin ice cream truck. And it is made in Japan, I believe. That's a junk jar item. I just, I love the graphics on it and they just don't make them like that anymore. Oops. So this right here is a Gillette Fat Boy adjustable razor. Paid up for that a little bit, but that's just how that is. But these are, these are pretty collectible. I could probably nab $40, $50 for that, probably. So that's good. And then Lucite Alligator... I've seen this marking before on plenty of other items. Um, I think it's probably from the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. Design gifts line. But I've never seen that, so that was definitely unique. So I had to have that. 
And then I got two Christmas pins for a buck each. I like this Santa Claus one. It gives me Hallmark vibes, and I think it actually does. Oh, it does say Hallmark on the back of it. Go figure. Probably 70s, I would say, 60s, 70s. And then we've got this Poinsettia one. And this one is just says Hong Kong on the back. And again, those were a buck each. They're going right into the junk jar. Maybe I'll wear this one for for Christmas time because it is very sweet. So that is everything that I got at Old Glory. Let me go ahead and show you the one item from eBay and then we can check out Amy's booth, shall we? So for 25 bucks, I got a pack of 52 American Beauties pinup playing cards by Elvgren. I've been wanting a set of these for so long and when I saw them listed for 40 bucks or best offer, I went ahead and took a shot in the dark, offered them $15 off their listed price and they accepted. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these, shall we? I'm absolutely loving the Joker. Look at her outfit, very 1950s. And then we've got one of my personal favorites, A Christmas Eve, and I have a notepad with this image on it. Caught napping. That's a little naughty, she's naked on the beach. I love this image, Jeepers Peepers. Potluck. She's catching all the coins in her dress. Ooh. Oh no, she's not naked. Taking ways. She's in a lather, but covered. So those are just some fun images, and if you ever find these individually and you can get them really cheap, like this Joker one, for example, put it in a flower frog and put it in your Halloween display. She is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love this deck, and I'm so glad he took my offer of $25. So now that we've checked out everything that I had for this haul, let's go ahead and check out Amy's booth. Now, I do want to let you all know that I am about a couple months behind in my videos just because I'm getting myself organized and such. But anywho, this video was filmed a little over a month ago, so there are going to be a lot of things that are different. She did send me some pictures of her booth and what it looks like now. So again, if you guys are in the Frederick, Maryland area, please go over to Old Glory and check out the mall and check out Amy's booth. It is booth O-3. She is very much into china and glass and ephemera. She likes dollhouse stuff. She's got some pottery. She, she's pretty much all across the board with everything that she likes. She's, she's like me. Only we kind of have a different, like, eclecticism. Whereas she likes, the, like I said, the glass and the pottery and stuff like that. Whereas I lean more towards, like, kitsch and toys and such. But, you know, we all, it's fun to go shopping with other resellers because you get to see what they're drawn to and what they like. And then, you know, you can keep an eye out for each other on when you're out shopping, which is what I like to do when I'm with people. But yeah, she's got a great assortment of things. She has some Steiff, she has some Roseville pottery, she has some Wagner Kunstlerschutz German flocked animals that are in the showcase that you'll see at one point in this video. She's got a lot of great things. She loves kids books. And again, please make sure you check her out there at Old Glory as well as all the other dealers that are there who offer great items. And yeah, it was really fun being able to set up an antique booth because I've never done that before. Aside from the fact that I've done antique shows, but that's not having a booth permanently somewhere. So that was a really fun experience. And again, please make sure you go and check out the booth. And she's definitely got some stuff to sell. So check out her booth, support all the sellers you possibly can. And that's it, folks.
So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram, the link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys!